Owlboy is a platform adventure game with RPG elements which took nearly a decade to develop. You play as Otis, an owl who was born mute. He trains under his verbally abusive mentor, Asio, who doesn't see much potential in Otis's skills. However, when their floating island town of Veli gets attacked by pirates, it's up to Otis and his pal Getty to hunt down the culprits and get back the ancient owl relics. Here are five tips to help Otis show his true potential as an underdog. Owl, under owl. Tip number one, buccanary coins. Throughout your journey across the floating island, you're bound to come across a few buccanary coins. Chests can be found throughout the game and most of the time, they can be found partially buried in the ground. However, some chests will only appear after defeating all the enemies in an area. Once finished scavenging, Buccanary coins can be taken to the legendary Adventure Emporium. This is where you can show Buccanary how many coins you've collected and be awarded trinkets for your good scavenging. So exploring each area thoroughly is essential for staying at the top of your game. Tip number two, fake walls. When exploring different regions, be sure to check each wall. D-Pad Studio seems to love putting hidden rooms and paths scattered throughout. You can't rely too much on the visual clues if you're hoping to find each one, so the best approach to take would be to either hug each wall or continuously fire your weapons while exploring. When your projectile hits the wall, it will have some sort of collision. However, if no collision is present, then you've just found one of these secret paths. These paths can lead to shortcuts and even host some of those missing buccanary coins you've been on the search for. So if you're looking at your coins menu and seeing you're missing a few coins in an area, it's time to check those walls. Tip number three, Trigger Finger. Early on in the game, you'll meet Otis's best friend, Getty. Getty wants to be as helpful as possible, allowing you to pick him up and utilize his blaster in a way reminiscent of twin stick shooters. Holding down the trigger will cause Getty to shoot his weapon in three round bursts. If you instead spam the trigger, Getty will shoot without interruption, maximizing your DPS and taking down enemies quickly. Oh, and trust us, you'll be needing that speedy trigger. Tip number four, speed roll. As an owl, Otis can fly pretty well, but speed doesn't seem to be a strong skill of his, causing flying to feel slow at times. This is where Otis's roll ability comes into play. Though he can't roll around at the speed of sound, Otis's roll is significantly faster than his normal walk animation. So rolling from area to area can be your quickest way through. Rolling is great for speed, but it's also a great defensive measure against enemies. Rolling into projectiles can send them hurtling back at their thrower, and rolling into most enemies can stun them outright. So be sure to roll almost everywhere you go. It's fast and it's safe, mostly. Tip number five, your companions. Otis carries his companions around while they supply support. Understanding each companion's skills are essential to take down threats quickly. Getty joins you almost immediately at the start of the game, and his blaster provides the best way to universally damage almost any enemy. He's also the most fun to toss into walls. The second companion to join you is Alphonse. Alphonse has a shotgun that can do massive damage to a target, and its spread can affect multiple targets at once, especially with the fire drive trinket, making him very useful when targets clutter together. Though a shotgun is strong, it takes a good amount of time to charge each use, meanwhile leaving you vulnerable. The final companion to join you is Twig, a stick bug dressed as a spider. Twig can easily incapacitate enemies with his string shot, while other enemies like spike balls and kaboons become stunned and make for an easier target. Finding the best companion for an enemy is a great way to keep from being hit. With its beautifully designed world and its hilarious sprite animations, Owlboy truly showed what 10 years of development and polish can do for a game. D-Pad Studios created a lore within the world that leaves you wanting more, all while designing characters that are not only unique, but fun to get to know. No matter what skill level a player enters at, they'll leave with a great experience. Let's just hope we get a sequel that's not 10 years away. <laughs>